Hello. This video demonstrates how to configure supplier evaluation levels in the FreeQMS Suppliers module. This is the only user configurable setting in the Suppliers module. This video also gives an overview of risk-based supplier management and how to use FreeQMS evaluation periods within company documentation. Log into your FreeQMS account as an admin. Typically, this is the first user to sign up for FreeQMS. Only admins can invite additional users. Click the Suppliers icon. Located in the top right corner of the Suppliers list is the Configure Evaluation Levels button. This button is only available to users with admin permissions. The designers of FreeQMS chose to place this button within the Suppliers module instead of in a secret backend panel for ease of access. Want to change something in the Suppliers module? Well, that should be available within the Suppliers module. Click the Configure Evaluation Levels button. If you are already familiar with electronic supplier management and evaluation periods, then update these levels in days per your company procedures and click the Save button. Otherwise, follow along for an explanation of this functionality. Every instance of FreeQMS comes pre-configured with default supplier evaluation periods that follow common industry best practices. Nearly all quality management standards require that suppliers be evaluated and controlled on a risk basis. This means companies generally evaluate and control critical suppliers much more regularly than low-impact suppliers. Companies typically define and document supplier control levels into a company procedure. Control levels may be numeric, such as 1, 2, 3, etc., alpha, such as ABC, etc., Roman numerals such as I, 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 etc. FreeQMS uses numeric numbering. The number of levels and their names may not be changed. Only the date periods may be changed. Disable a level by entering zero. The level will still appear as selectable, but automated evaluation periods will be disabled. FreeQMS default level one evaluation period is 180 days, meant to serve as a six month evaluation period. Your organization may or may not evaluate any suppliers this frequently, but six months may be a good evaluation period for a very critical supplier. A level one or critical supplier may be subject to advanced controls per your organization's documentation, such as regular audits, quality management certifications, and system expectations. Update level one to reflect your organization. Note, it's not required to use the levels in ascending numerical order. If your organization uses a higher numeral to indicate higher risk, such as level 5 being the highest risk and level 1 being the lowest, then the order of days may be reversed. FreeQMS will control evaluation periods with any time period entered. There are no limitations. FreeQMS default level 2 evaluation period is 365 days and meant to serve as one year. Note, FreeQMS was designed around day-based evaluation periods instead of months due to design input from organizations that evaluate some suppliers as frequently as every month. In a risk-based system, level 2 suppliers are typically suppliers for which there is a backup. They may even supply a critical product or service, but the organization has alternates in case of a failure. FreeQMS default level 3 evaluation period is 730 days, or 2 years. Not all organizations have 5 supplier risk levels. Some may have just 3, or even 2, critical and not critical. A level 3 supplier may be a supplier that has an effect on the quality system or product quality, but there are many alternatives. This supplier will most likely receive a lower level of controls and have a lower level of expectations for their quality system. FreeQMS default level 4 evaluation period is 1,460 days, or 4 years. In a quality management system, a supplier with an evaluation period this long is generally a low-risk supplier that may be controlled with only a simple agreement. This is most likely a supplier the organization feels can be easily replaced, or a supplier with minimal effect on product quality. FreeQMS default level 5 evaluation period is 0 days. Entering zero days next to any level will disable automatic evaluation period tracking. In the default configuration, level 5 is intended for suppliers the organization wishes to track but does not affect the quality management system, such as bottled water or breakroom supplies. What if your organization only has two supplier evaluation levels, such as critical and non-critical, or maybe even three levels? Simply enter zero in all unused levels to disable automatic tracking for these levels. Let's look at how these evaluation levels work. Click Save. Let's select our system security validation supplier. We can see here our validation supplier is set to evaluation level 1. In our fictional organization, this would be a critical supplier. Remember, our evaluation level 1 is set to the FreeQMS default of 180 days. We can see this validation supplier was last evaluated April 21st, 2020. We can see the supplier's qualification will expire on October 18th, 2020. What does this mean, especially for users coming from manual systems or older electronic systems like Excel? Let's click the breadcrumb menu to go back to the supplier's menu. We can see we have a pending supplier here. 
As soon as any free QMS supplier passes its next evaluation date, it will automatically transition back to pending. No user input is required. This is a great system for automated tracking of suppliers that need to be reevaluated. Once the supplier is pending, it must pass through an electronic approval process just like a new supplier to be approved. What if we have a management change or a personnel change and we decide it is not longer necessary to evaluate critical suppliers every six months? What if our critical suppliers maintain excellent quality management systems and we only need to update every nine months? Let's click the Configure Evaluation Levels button again. We're going to update our level one evaluation period to 270 days or about nine months. Click Save. Every supplier with an evaluation level of one will now automatically transition to pending after nine months instead of six. Let's click our validation supplier again. We can see this evaluation date is now pushed back to nine months. Evaluation periods can be adjusted at any time depending on updates to company procedures and all suppliers with a given evaluation period will update. Before we go, let's check out a supplier who is set to an evaluation level where the period is zero days. We can see here, Validation Supplier 1 is approved, but the next evaluation date is not required. Above that, we can also see Validation Supplier 2, which is not yet approved, but is also set to our default level 5. These suppliers still need initial approval, if required, but will not require automatic reapproval if level 5 is left to its default setting of 0 days. Let's click our fictional Supplier 1. We can see the supplier is set to level 5, and we can see the next evaluation date for this supplier is not required. As long as level 5 is set to its default of 0 days, this supplier will not automatically return to pending. What if we feel Validation Supplier 1 is now more important? What if they start supplying a service we depend on? Click the Edit button. We can update a supplier's evaluation level at any time. We can also see the levels are identified with their day count here. Since we're logged in as an admin, we also have the chance to access the Configure Evaluation Levels button from this screen. This is not available to non-admins. This concludes our video on FreeQMS's supplier evaluation periods. All functionality shown in the Suppliers module during this video is completely free to use.